Hello everyone, thank you for coming down to the press room so quickly. We haven't been here in a while, have we? How are you? You look very nice. You look very nice. No, not you, your fake news. You, you're very, OAN, you're very pretty. You're very pretty. All right, now listen, a number of people, even some prominent Republicans, Republicans have told me that I have to give a concession speech. Listen, I don't even know what a concession speech is. I don't know. Kelly, what's a concession speech? I have no idea. The only concessions I like are the ones at the stadium while I'm watching a football where they're not kneeling. I love a good hot dog at a game. You know, no mustard, though, because it gets on your tie. With some Diet Coke, of course. That's my drink. And some popcorn. Some popcorn. But you have to be, you have to be careful with the popcorn because it gets, it gets stuck in your teeth. Did you notice that? It's, it's terrible. You can't get it out. It's so thin. It's a, is it a shell? It's, it's a shell, right? It's a shell inside. It's a shell of the kernel. Shell of the kernel. Shell of the kernel. These things are murder. They really get stuck in your gums. This will be a non-concession speech. It's the opposite of a concession speech. I'm not conceded, so I don't need to concede. Do you know what I'm, do you see what I'm saying there? Do you see what I'm saying? I am going to fight. I mean, I myself will be fighting from the golf course, but my 5,000 attorneys will be fighting. Rudy had a tremendous press conference today at Four Seasons Restaurant in Philadelphia. Phil What's that, Kelly? Four Seasons Landscaping? Why was he there? Between a crematorium and a porn shop? Wait, wait a minute. He wasn't with that girl from Borat again, was he? He wasn't. He didn't pull it on his pants. Oh, okay. All right. I thought it was Borat again. That guy, he's horrible. That guy, no talent, that guy. In any case, Monday will start the reign of lawsuits. Reign of lawsuits. We're suing every single state. We're suing every single county. We're suing every single election board. We're suing every single election official. We're suing every election official spouse. And we are suing people who look like the election officials. It's an incredible strategy. Now, what is the definition of a conspiracy? Well, I looked it up on the Google. An agreement between two or more persons engaged jointly in an unlawful or criminal act or an act that is innocent in and of itself, but becomes lawful when it's done in combination. Combination. That means Every single person who voted for Joe Biden is in on this conspiracy. And I will be suing every single one of them. I think it's like 75 million, 75 million, because this is the biggest lawsuit, because it's the biggest conspiracy. They didn't vote for me. You thought Obamagate was huge. Oh, no, no, no. This is much bigger. I'm also suing the Kung Flu, the Kung Flu, Turbo People, the Chinese Great Takeout. I say it all the time, Turbo People. But the whole reason I lost was because of the Kung Flu. The economy was doing great. I think that everyone knows my brand is winning, winning. It is for that reason. If this counts, this, this count stands and I lose the uh, presidency, I'm even looking into suing myself for tarnishing my winning brand and my name brand, Trump. And I will win. I will beat myself. I will beat myself so hard. I hear this Trump guy's on the ropes. It'll be really incredible. It'll be very quick. It'll be very quick. Now, what the fake news is not talking about, and this is part of the vast conspiracy, is that in every single state, Rudy uncovered this, that the people counting the ballots were Antifa, all Antifa, all Black Lives Matter in every single precinct counting. They gave themselves away because they're stupid, because they brought bags and cans of soup with them. Huh? These are the same cans of soup that they made into torpedoes and sank Trump boats at Lake Travesty in Texas. Terrible, terrible people. They're in the counting rooms. They're counting illegal ballots. They're dressed in black and ski masks and black boots and Tifa t-shirts. They're also armed to the teeth in the counting rooms with rifles and knives and, of course, nunchucks. Nunchucks. Antifa. They love nunchucks. They love nunchucks. That's an also a giveaway. These counters are professional rioters, looters, and agitators, not professional counters. Pennsylvania, Nevada, Georgia. You can see through the glass, I'm being told, that they had on Antifa. They had Antifa backpacks, Antifa water bottles, Antifa hand sanitizer. They didn't even try to hide it. 
They are laughing at us in those states, those Antifa people. I should have won those states. The Antifa ballot counters were using copiers, scanners, duplicators, 3D printers, making millions and millions of fraudulent ballots. And we weren't allowed in to count it. And a lot of dead people, a lot of dead people. Someone told me the late, great Abe Lincoln voted in this election for Biden, for Biden. He was a Republican. A lot of people don't know that. I mean, he was a Republican like me, like me. And everyone says what a great president he was. But honestly, what did he do? What did Abe Lincoln do? A little teeny, tiny civil war, right? That lasted three, four hours. And what do I get? What do I get? I get the kung flu from Wang Chung, China. Like I said, we're suing China. We're suing China. All right. Now, along with the dead voters, and by the way, there's a lot. There's a lot of dead voters. There are more dead people than living people. Did you know that? Did, did you guys know that? You know, people have been dying since the beginning of time. No one talks about that. No one talks about that. And they're finding fake names all over the place, like Bender Over, Bender Over, and Connie Lingus, and hey, would you blow me? Hey, would you blow me? Terrible. Oh, in Hawaii terrible state, they came across hundreds of guys, hundreds, with the name, hey, I want to lay you. Hey, I want to lay you. That's a made up name, folks. And I need to warn you, if there is not a recount of all the legal, legal ballots and a throwing out of the millions of illegal ballots, okay, most importantly, a Trump win. This is what this is all about, a Trump win. If there's not a Trump win, there'll be rioting and looting from my supporters like you've never seen before. Like you've never seen before. And they're armed, believe me. First, it will be early in the day. These are early risers, just so you know. Most of these people are in bed pretty early, pretty early. They don't like a late night of looting. You know, they like to be home. And uh, they won't be stealing stupid stuff like sneakers or diapers. They'll be going for orthopedic shoes, work boots, little rascal scooters, jitterbug phones, dialysis machines, truck tires, CPAP supplies, and cases of cold beer. Do you think it was bad having bridges in New York and the highways in New Jersey's blocked? Wait until they block every single road, every highway, every tunnel. You'll be begging me to be president. You'll be pushing Trump, sir. Please be president. Believe me. So I better win. I better win or it's American Carnage Part 2. And I am going to strip the White House bare if I don't win. I mean, we're taking everything. We're taking the doors. We're taking the light fixtures, toilets, faucets, painting, copper. We're taking the wire. This place, it'll be a shell. It'll be a shell. And then we're going to sell it. And then we're going to sell it. So I better win. So I better win. No questions. No questions. Kelly, can you call Remax? We want to get this on the market. Hello, everyone. If you like that video, then subscribe for more. If you couldn't stand that video, please subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. It goes off and it's really annoying. But you'll know my latest video is up.